Hey farm hands, Farmer Reef here. Welcome back to the Phoenix 700. So today we're gonna to do uh, aquascaping. Uh, as you guys can see, the tank's all together. I did a bunch of, I got it all cleaned up, prepped it, got everything ready. Um, I got 600 pounds of Marco's uh, rock right here. I'll show you guys in a minute what we're dealing with and what we're gonna to use to bond all the rock together. Got a few different applications we're gonna use. So that's what today's gonna to be all about. Um, Danielle's gonna help me uh, lifting the rock. I gotta get into the tank um, myself. So I can position everything. Um, I got some Marco flat pieces, um, just like this. So this is some of Marco's rock. You guys can see how flat that is on the bottom. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna silicone glue this into place on the bottom. So this will end up being our foundation. So when it's on the bottom of the glass, no gobies, any fish, any crabs can burrow underneath and topple all the aquascape. So that's the plan guys. So silicone onto the glass and that'll be uh, our main pillars to take the rest of uh, the aquascape. So that's the plan. Marcos Rock is great stuff. Um, I've always used this for doing all my tanks. What I like about it, it's pest free, it's dead, and that means it's uh, you don't have any critters that can get in your tank, any of those pests. Plus it's uh, nitrate and phosphate free, and that's what it's all about, guys. You can start off um, right at the gate, a well-established tank. You don't have to worry about uh, nuisance algae and stuff. You see, you know, usually you'll have the new tank syndrome algae and that coming on, but but if you start everything right out of the gate perfectly, it's going to really uh, help not have that problem. So let's keep going here. What are we going to use today? So we've got Marco's Rock. I'll show you everything in a minute. Um, i got a few pails of uh, the eMarco 400 um, uh, bonding kit. This stuff works great. It's just like concrete, but it's uh, reef safe. So there's two there's uh, two parts in here. You have the powder and you have the liquid that you're going to mix together. It's just like mortar and you're going to put it in between your rocks and just let it harden, it's just like concrete, and that's what's awesome, we're gonna use that. Um, I got some uh, some D&D Aquascape putty as well that we're gonna use to help uh, bond some different pieces together. And I got some silicone we're gonna use uh, to put on the bottom and just uh, mend some of the rock work together. So that's some of the applications we're gonna use. So I'm gonna show you all the rock, what I got here, and then we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get in the tank, and we're gonna just start uh, Aquascape in the 700. All right guys, so here's all the Marco's rock. You can see this has been a different color. I have been soaking it and seeding it down in a tank. And there's the eMarco 400 Oxygen bonding kits we're gonna use today. So you guys can see all the rock. And then there's the silicone, the putty. So we got a lot of rock to do. So the tank, it's all ready to go. You can check her out. Got it all cleaned up. So I'm gonna use that ladder to get into it. And then uh, Danielle and my brothers are probably gonna help me get everything in and out of this tank. So that's the, the plan. So let's get at her.
So this is the ox cave we came up with. So here's like our first island. So you can see lots of crevices for shrimp, fish to hide. So it went really high. So this way we keep a lot of the higher SPS on top. So you make sure you get a good par reading. Um, so we got down here, we got a nice big tunnel underneath this one. This is the tallest one. It's got lots of surface area so we can uh, put corals on. And then the other third island, lots of crevices again for fish to hide. And then it's gonna be perfect, put a bunch of like sea fans on it. So all the corals can really grow in. So there's lots of room. At least we got it that far. So all we have to do now is uh, get up the plumbing so we can get some sand, get the water running. All right, farm hands, thanks a lot for tuning in this uh, episode of the aquascaping. It turned out really well, did a little time lapse for you. It took a long time, but we got it all. And um, all full, we gotta do a bunch of cleanup, a bunch of empty boxes to get rid of. So thanks for tuning in this week, guys. Really appreciate it. Please subscribe and hit the like button.